Simone Biles. Simone Biles. Simone Biles is apparently an Olympic athlete. Simone Biles dropped out of the team competition for Team USA. Basically, the big story around the Olympics is Simone Biles. The pressure, the physical pain, the sacrifice, the commitment of her whole childhood for this one moment, and this is not how she envisioned that it was going to be. Simone Biles receiving an outpouring of love and support. Justin Bieber commends her for stepping back. I'm not trying to make light of mental health issues, but, 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 but very selfish. She's immature, and she is a shame to the country. The Simone Biles story to me is about making quitting not only acceptable, but heroic. Several have deemed her psychological state as the twisties. The twisties. The twisties are a mysterious phenomenon. When she lost herself in midair. The brain is saying it's not safe enough for you to do these incredibly difficult skills, and if you do, you're at serious risk of injuring yourself. And our cultural powers that be want us to celebrate cowardice. She deserves praise up and down all day long till the end of time. Men play through all kinds of stuff like this. Women, on the other hand, they get a pass. Okay, let's talk about the pathetic, couch-dwelling trolls surrounding Simone Biles. Since the dawn of time, people have been spewing their uninformed opinions all over the internet for the world to see whether you like it or not. From name-calling to shaming and trolling to bullying, we've seen it all. But when it comes to inane, baseless, factless bitch boy assumptions from couch-dwelling, clout-chasing, grown-ass men who have nothing better to do with their time than attack exceptional women less than half their age and shame mental health as weakness and made-up excuses, thus perpetuating grossly abused stigmas around mental illness. <laughs> I draw the line. You're just a sad, sad clown. So buckle up and brace yourself as we go balls to the wall in search of the answer that yeah, Simone Biles got the internet's panties all in a bunch. But why? And she brought this pressure onto herself. Of the issue that everybody seems to be ignoring. Dr. Larry Nasser and the sexual assault. There have been lots of people online talking about, for example, her sexual assault. But she has not once cited that as a reason. We are raising a generation of weak people like Simone Biles. What's brave about not being brave? This country is becoming soft. Quitting is unacceptable. Most sports fans agree with me right now. Former Olympians, many athletes came out to support her. It takes a lot of courage. The word courage actually means to be seen. So what she did was expose herself to be seen as a very courageous young woman. I had never heard of Simone Biles until last night. Hi there, hello, hello, hi, it's my face again. Swoop! Swoop, 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 <laughs> Yeah, theme song, it's here to stay. <laughs> Listen, all right, th this wasn't at all the doc that I had planned to work on, but when I saw what was happening to Simone Biles in the Olympics this week and the world's response, something about these troglodyte asshats on Twitter got me all kinds of pissed the f off. So I am putting the original doc on hold so we can collectively punch some balls. <laughs> Yes, friends, there's nothing like a swift ball punching for your Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> With peace and love, of course. <laughs> Now, as always, I will break this down into three parts. The dumpster fire internet trolling, the glorification of the athlete over the human, and inside the mind of real sociopaths. Now, real quick, if you're interested in some other internet mess, I just posted a deep dive on the Millie Bobby Brown Hunter Echo fiasco that I think you'll find incredibly interesting and surprising. And I have my two-part Gabby Henna series, so I'll have all those linked in the description. I highly recommend checking them out. Oh, hi. Hi, Buffalo. Everyone say hi to Miss Buffalo Billy. Mm. She's one of Bill Farrell's kittens I've been fostering from the billing department litter. If you're interested in adopting a baby Bill, please DM me on their Instagram account at Bill Farrell for more info. And are you following me on Instagram? Because, honey, what are we doing? I'm going to post this photo on IG. Leave a comment on it with the clown emoji because we're about to enroll in Petty University today and there are clowns that need handling, honey. And yes, Petty Murphy. Merch 
is coming. We are working on the designs. I cannot wait for y'all to get your hands on it. There you go. Thank you. Now we have a lot to cover. It is infuriating. It is all of the things. But real quick before we dive in, I am so excited for today's sponsor, HelloFresh, a service that I absolutely love. So HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit that delivers delicious, easy to follow recipes and fresh pre-measured ingredients ready to cook right to your front door. That means no time wasted, no food wasted. It's all laid out just for you. I legit am a huge fan of getting HelloFresh because first of all, your girl totally sucked at cooking before. I didn't like to do it. I didn't like all the time spent at the grocery store. And so I was ordering out like way too much and that's way too expensive. And then when I started cooking, like I got in a rut really fast with like the same three meals. HelloFresh is the perfect solution to getting new, delicious, healthy meals in my belly in 30 minutes or even like 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. And this is all without having you go to the grocery store, without planning or meal prep, which saves me so much time. And it's actually cheaper than when I was doing it all myself. And the food is ridiculously tasty. And I made the most delicious, sweet and smoky pork tenderloins with apple, carrot, slaw and mashed potatoes. Yum. HelloFresh made me like a Michelin star chef, honey. Yeah. Now there are tons of recipes to choose from each week, including low carb, carb smart, vegetarian and pescatarian options. And it's super flexible. You can add extra dinners or lunches to your weekly order, easily change your delivery days or food preferences or skip a week whenever you want. You're not locked into anything. And because you get large pre-portioned ingredients, there's way less wasted food. So if you want the joy of not having to think about your meals and skipping the grocery store, go to HelloFresh.com and use code SWOOP14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. It's actually like a really great deal. So code SWOOP14 to get 14 free meals and free shipping. And with this sponsorship, I will be donating some of the proceeds to Mental Health America, an organization devoted to supporting those living with mental illness. And as always, I'll never be able to thank you humans enough for continuing to watch these docs and check out the sponsors. Y'all have really blown me away lately with your support and I just feel so blessed. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, back to the show. So I know that this woman needs no introduction, but just to do a quick recap, Simone Biles is a 24 year old elite athlete regarded as the world's greatest artistic gymnast of all time. Like best ever, like ever, ever. Simone Biles has actually set the artistic gymnastics world championship record for most medals for any gymnast in the history of the sport with 30, 31 medals and has six Olympic medals, four gold, one silver and one bronze. And is one of the most famous athletes on the planet. Bitch, let's be real, the closest thing I've held to a gold medal recently was the leftover onion ring that I had for breakfast. And it had a hole in it, so yay me. <laughs> So during the Olympic gymnastics team finals this last week, Simone was very clearly struggling and she was posting scores uncharacteristically low for her. And on her final vault, she was supposed to finish with two and a half twists before landing, but got lost in the air, what is known in the sport as the twisties, and only completed one and a half twists, completely disorienting her, which resulted in a very scary, unpredictable landing. So shortly after, Simone pulled out of the remainder of the team finals, citing mental health health reasons and ultimately the individual all around. I just felt like it would be a little bit better to take a back seat, uh, work on my mindfulness and I knew that the girls would do an absolutely great job and I didn't want to risk the team a medal for uh, kind of my screw ups because they've worked way too hard for that. So needless to say, it was a shock to everyone watching and right on cue, all the internet trolls crawled out from their clout chasing caves and had something to say as they brushed off the potato chip crumbs from their stench stained shirts. This country is becoming soft. The Simone Biles story to me is about making quitting not only acceptable, but heroic. Bitch, listen, 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 bitch, listen, li listen. Okay, y'all already know I, I am not going to be able to make it through this doc in one piece without putting on my grad cap. So bitch, Professor Petty has officially entered the chat. <laughs> Petty University, classes in session, let's go bitch. what it is about some of these grown ass men, but they get so damn triggered by the words mental health. If she got all these mental health problems, don't show up. I'm not trying to make light of mental health issues, but we are raising a generation of weak people 
like Simone Biles. Like what in the whole wheat avocado toast Snickers bar versus Milky Way universe are you living in that you get so triggered by mental health? Like, oh my gosh, save yourself, bitch, it's the mental health patrol. And don't even get me started on sports ball. Like these, some of these hoes get all up in there like bitch brigade feelings when it comes to sports ball. Like quitting is unacceptable. Most sports fans agree with me right now. All hail sports ball, bitch, it's a revolution. Sports ball for life, sports ball is more important than human behavior. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all, I got a little carried away. Okay, back to the show. Whenever we perform, we're expected to win, which it can kind of get a lot at times because we're so young with such a big amount of pressure, but I think we handle it very well. The, the moment that Simone Biles and not too long ago tennis star Naomi Osaka mentioned taking a breather to protect their mental health. All hell broke loose in the land of like 50 year old white men with narrow minds and too much time on their hands. It's a really funny phenomenon that just seems to keep happening. I don't know, cause of sports ball. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Now, we all know there's a lot of things that I could point out about the rampant attacks and negativity surrounding people like Simone and Naomi Osaka. I could point out how people like Piers Morgan and others attacked and shamed Simone for pulling out, tweeting things like, are mental health issues now the go-to excuse for any poor performance in elite sport? What a joke. Just admit you did badly, made mistakes, and will strive to do better next time. Kids need strong role models, not this nonsense. But then I'd have to point out how Piers Morgan stormed off the set in the middle of a live taping of his show after a weatherman called him out for his microaggressive, incessant attacks on Meghan Markle. I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Oh, uh, Sorry. So, do you know what? That's pathetic. You can track him, maybe. Not my No, 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 no. See I'm, you later. I'm being... Oh, and he also quit the show permanently. Sorry. Can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behavior. Is that the role model you propose? Sorry. Can't this do this. I'm just asking. Diabolical behavior. Since half the internet wants to be dusty as hell about Simone Biles and Naomi Osaka, then bitch, I'm about to break out the Swiffer duster and dust these hoes up. I am tired of having to take out the trash. In fact, you know what, as we look at some of these responses, let's break out the wheel of dustiness and rate some of this bullshit. Dustiness. Now, look guys, I'm not trying to make light of mental health issues, but, but, I'm not trying to diminish mental health, but, I'm not trying to make light of mental health issues, I'm not buying this. Bitch, but bitch, 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 ain't nothing for you to buy, honey, and she ain't selling. Because if this was a man, right? If this was a man that decided to do this, he would be called a um, a synonym for a uh, cat, okay? And uh, rightfully so. I d did he just try to justify misogyny by being misogynistic? Okay, and uh, rightfully so. Okay, just make it sure. And what's even more embarrassing is these grown men out here trying to defend this. They are just simping. What? You're simping a little bit too much. Really? But for whatever reason, these woke athletes, particularly um, those who are, who are women, have to be coddled. Oh, that's so interesting. And it's like, no, you, you don't get to be coddled. You guys want equality, right? You want to be paid the same as men. You want the same recognition as men. Uh-huh. So therefore, you have to take the same criticism. <laughs> so Simone Biles decided not to compete. Now, she probably could have just competed and just kind of checked the boxes and they would have got a gold medal. Yeah, that's the point, Simone Biles. You're representing your nation, you selfish, you selfish sociopath. <laughs> Kidding me? As I've mentioned, Simone had the twisties, a physical and mental phenomenon where the body and mind disconnect and could result in catastrophic injury. Today it's like, you know what? I'm not gonna do something stupid and get hurt. It's just not worth it. Especially when you have like three amazing athletes that can step up to the plate and do it. So you know who has the gold medal? Russia. I'm not okay with that. 
And bitch, I guarantee you'd fall over if you rode the damn Disney teacups too hard, okay, Charlie? So I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with that. So what if she continued competing in spite of the twisties and in spite of her mental health not being exactly where it needed to be and she vaulted and landed on her head and broke her neck? Then what? You'd be screaming that, oh, she choked on the vault and lost your gold medal that for some reason you think you're entitled to. Russia. I have to go look at these four foot 11 Russian Olympi Olympians <coughs> chewing on their gold medal, smirking at the Americans. I'm not okay with that. One would think in all of her infinite decade plus experience as the greatest of all time that she doesn't know exactly what needs to happen in this situation. Let's hear it from Simone herself. For anyone saying I quit, I didn't quit. My mind and body are simply not in sync as you can see here. I don't think you realize how dangerous this is on hard competition surface, nor do I have to explain why I put health first. Physical health is mental health. I'm not okay with that. I didn't have a bad performance and quit. I've had plenty of bad performances throughout my career and finished the competition. I simply got so lost, my safety was at risk as well as a team medal. Therefore, the girl stepped up and killed the rest of the competition and won. Silver queens. Hence why we have four team members because all of us can compete in team meet, not just me. Super proud of these girls that stepped up and did what they needed to do and now we're um, Olympic silver medalist, so it's something that they'll cherish forever. I'm not okay with that. Simone Biles says, this Olympic Games, I wanted to be for myself when I came in and I felt like I was still doing it for other people as she cried after the team event on Tuesday. Yeah, that's the point, Simone Biles. You're representing your nation, you selfless, you selfish sociopath. kidding me? See, if you had done any basic ass research, you'd understand that Simone is likely referring to the prison she felt trapped in having to continue to work for and compete for the USA Gymnastics Organization, an organization that ignored and enabled a vile doctor to sexually abuse over 130 girls. You know, it's not easy coming back to the sport, coming back to the organization that has failed you. She's also very selfish, she's immature, and she is a shame to the country. It's not easy being out here because I feel like every day is a reminder of what I went through and what I've been through and what I'm going through and how, I come, how I've come out of it. But This month in an emotional social media post, the powerhouse said she too was a victim of Dr. Larry Nasser. We need to know why this was able to take place for so long and to so many of us. We need to make sure something like this never happens again. She's immature and she is a shame to the country. So it feels like he took a part of me that I can't get back. So I'm still working on that part. And she is a shame to the country. Where is the disconnect here? Charlie, Charlie, Charles. What kind of person skips the gold medal match? Who does that? It's a shame to the nation. You just gave a gift to the Russians. You know, it's it's the ever-flowing toxic masculinity for me. Like, why do you care? At what other time in your life have you invested anything in women's gymnastics? So like, why do you care so much now? We are raising a generation of weak people like Simone Biles. Bitch, who, who are you raising? Who? <laughs> like, you ain't got no kids, honey. What are you even talking about here? If she got all these mental health problems, don't show up. Who does that? It's a shame to the nation. I don't know what it is about these triggered toxic trolls, but for some reason, attacking someone's patriotism and calling them a shame to their country has quickly been the most boring, inane, unimaginative, ridiculous move, and I just... We're talking about a young woman who has literally inspired millions and has won a lot of medals for America. And because she takes a step back for her safety and for her teammates to have a better chance at winning, suddenly she's ashamed to her country. Simone Biles didn't fail this country. People like you failed Simone Biles. People like you with your platform failed to protect innocent children and call for accountability with convicted monsters who prey upon them. So it feels like he took a part of me that I can't get back. 
so I'm still working on that part. Instead of spending your time attacking people like Simone, why don't you spend your time going after people like that, the actual monsters in the world that you conveniently ignore or forget about? Oh, well, I know Simone has been through some things, but then you don't want to talk about those things. She's been through some things. I'm not going to talk about it, but oh my gosh, she's not doing a vault. <gasps> she's totally a sociopath. Of course she's a sociopath. And to, to flippantly declare someone a sociopath, first of all, this dude just played himself because honey, like, do you even know the definition of sociopath? Let's have a look, shall we? It is a swoop doc after all. A person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behavior and a lack of conscience. You want another definition? <laughs> okay. A mental health disorder characterized by disregard for other people. Those with antisocial personality disorder tend to lie, break laws, act impulsively, and lack regard for their own safety or the safety of others. Literally by the very definition of the word sociopath that you keep flipping around, it is listed as a mental health disorder. Like, did you not just get through blasting that Simone doesn't have mental health issues and then turn around and claim she's sociopathic? A mental health disorder. It's the ignorant hypocrisy for me. It's the blatant unresearched stupidity for me at this point. Also, while we're on the subject, one of the key elements described in sociopathy is a lack of regard for their own safety, which in this instance, Simone backed out of further competition for the sake of her own safety. So not only did Charlie try to weaponize an actual mental health disorder against Simone, which is disgusting, but he he used one that by the very definition has been shown as the exact opposite of what Simone is doing. Pause for reaction. Now, y'all, I'm bringing this up because calling someone a sociopath or a psychopath is not new. It's ignorant and it's dangerous and is a common manipulation tactic to make you feel like you're selfish for taking care of yourself or you're selfish for setting boundaries. Please know they're just trying to manipulate you into questioning your own boundaries and they are full of shit. I found an article on The Federalist by one John Daniel Davidson titled, Sorry Simone Biles, the Olympics isn't about you, it's about winning for America. This ought to be a fun read. We have a society have begun conflating mental health and mental toughness or grit. Public figures are often rewarded for taking care of their mental health, even in the absence of any kind of mental illness. Listen, Ja, 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 Johnny, Johnny, can I call you that? Johnny, Johnny. First of all, I love I love it when people keep putting mental health in quotes as if it's like a Disney character from a movie that doesn't exist in real life. So since we're on the subject of mental health, this bitch really came out the gate swinging some bullshit about society conflating mental health and mental toughness. You do realize it's all mental, right? Of course they're conflated. It's coming from the same damn source. But to then proceed to imply that Simone, or anyone for that matter, doesn't actually have any kind of mental illness when you are not her brain or her therapist is disgusting. Biles doesn't suffer from a specific mental illness, at least not that we know of or that's manifested itself before. What she experienced wasn't that, it was something more common among professional athletes. She got psyched out. She wasn't mentally tough when she needed to be. <laughs> I just wish people would do some basic research research because I could point out that back in 2016 that hackers released Simone's private health records revealing that she lives with and gets treatment for ADHD. But since you title yourself a journalist, you'd already know that, right? Johnny, you already knew that. You just wanted to leave that out. I could point out how Simone has shared in multiple interviews on Today, Vogue, and many news programs about the debilitating anxiety and depression she survived because of the SA abuse she lived through at the hands of one of the USA Gymnastics doctors and how that greatly affects mental health in huge lasting ways that you can't comprehend. Um, it's definitely not easy. I mean, I have my ups and downs. Sure. Uh, I still go to therapy and I'm on anxiety medicine now mm. because I had a lot of ups and downs throughout the year and trying to figure out what was wrong and so I go to therapy uh, pretty regularly. But then again, you're an editor and journalist, so you already would know that, right? Right? Since we're talking about mental health and all. But instead of being ashamed of that or apologizing, so you agree. You think people with mental health issues should be ashamed and apologize. So you agree? What? 
You think you're really pretty. Okay, thanks for clearing that up. Instead of being ashamed or apologizing to her teammates and her countrymen, Biles seemed to revel in taking care of her mental health, whatever that means. Yes, John, whatever that means. <laughs> OMG, who are these people? Don't they know the body can perform death-defying tasks? No problem without the brain. No one needs the brain. What is all this kerfuffle mental health? OMG, I'm so triggered. Now, y'all know that one of my goals with these docs is to take some of the drama that has grown out of control and off topic and bring it back to where I think things in part originated because too often the real abusers fly under the radar when trolls spend time nitpicking and attacking survivors for ridiculous things. So just like I want to keep the focus on mental health, I also want to bring us back to one of the worst, most disgusting, disgraced monsters in existence that Simone Biles and hundreds of others had to survive, Larry Nasser. Because while the smelly dogs are barking, like he's getting getting away with shit literally right now. There was some recent news about convicted child sex abuser Larry Nasser. I will never say his name without attaching those words. In an article that just came out on Bloomberg titled, Larry Nasser got stimulus checks but hasn't repaid victims. More than 150 women, including former Olympians, spoke at Nasser's sentencing, recounting that they went to him for treatment of their sports injuries and ended up being SA'd by him. Former USA Gymnastics doctor Larry Nasser received almost $13,000, including $2,000 in government stimulus checks since being imprisoned in 2018 on federal child P-word charges, but hasn't paid any restitution according to prosecutors. Since being jailed, Nasser has made $25 payments each quarter for a total of $300. So to all the distracted trolls who don't want to talk about this part of things, if you need something to be angry about in regards to Simone Biles and women's gymnastics and the Olympics. How about you start there? Seems pretty important, right? I don't mean to cry, but it's just, it's hard coming here for an organization and having had them failed us so many times. And, and here's something else you can cover. Simone Biles was abandoned by American Olympic officials and the torment hasn't stopped. The trouble with the phrase mental health is that it's an abstraction that allows you to sail straight over what happened to Simone Biles and, in a way, what is still happening to her. To this day, American Olympic officials continue to betray her. They deny that they had a legal duty to protect her and others from rapist child pornographer Larry Nasser, and they continue to evade accountability in judicial maneuvering. Abuse is a current event for her. It is a perilous endeavor to project what Biles, the most uniquely superior gymnast in the world, is feeling or thinking at this juncture. But she has been frank about these things. Her profound lingering distrust of USA Gymnastics and the US OPC and her conviction they will not do right by her and other athletes on their own accord. Remember, if it wasn't for Biles bringing her clout to the issue, these users would still be making women train in the buggy squalor of that Carly Ranch. The US OPC PC sanctioned hellhole where they were mal- Simone Biles had to return to the very gym she was abused in for her Olympic 2020 training, meaning every time she trained, she had to relive the trauma of being abused by a convicted serial essayer. Let that sink in. And again, I don't know if the stuff with Larry Nasser is a factor in Simone's mental health that she's talking about. It might not be, but also it is a part of her. But that's besides the point. Mental Mental health is mental health, period, no matter what the cause is, but we can't ignore the fact that there is a massive f***ing cause here that is very closely tied and associated with the USA Gymnastics organization that she is competing for. What a f***ing living legend she is, and a human being, because people keep forgetting that part of it. She's a human being. I feel like people think I'm like an alien or I'm inhuman at times. I'm normal, I have emotions, I have feelings. If you have survived SA or any form of abuse, let me be clear, you don't owe anyone shit. You know, Simone could have folded up her uniform and said, you know what? 
all of this and never competed again after what she's been through and with this organization and I'd still give her a standing ovation. Like girl, if that's what you need to do, you do it honey. You're incredible exactly as you are. And the same thing goes for all of you watching. If you took a stand against your abuser, then I applaud you. Bitch, I'm standing with you. Let's get these fools. But at the same time, if you had to fold up and cry in the corner for a day, a month, a year, 10 years, bitch, I'm still, I'm still here. Do what you gotta do to get through it and I'll see you on the other side when you're ready for your much deserved healing. I want you to always remember, as I will continue to say, it is not your fault. You are a fucking champion no matter how you do or don't cope with what you've been through. And the trash opinion of victim blamers, shamers, and excuse makers don't mean shit. Whether you ever share your story to anyone or not, you are a fucking brilliant human being, period. And that's on what? That's on Peter Piper picked a patch of pickle fucking peppers, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's the point, Simone Biles. You're representing your nation, you selfish, you selfish sociopath. You kidding me? Exactly how much should people feel entitled to demand of athletes who are human beings before they realize they're not only placing unrealistic expectations on these people, but are also placing more value on sports, on gold medals than human beings? Why can't we have headlines that respect Simone, respect what she has accomplished in the sport, and demonstrate that she is perfectly capable of making a decision that is smart and what she needs at this moment? And this is dangerous, not just because it continues to perpetuate the very harmful stereotype that black women are supposed to always be strong, invincible, indestructible, regardless of what bullshit the world puts us through, but it's also dangerous to every single person watching who struggles with mental illness, mental health disorders, and mental health challenges. When you have someone as prominent as Simone Biles, as Naomi Osaka, opening up about mental health, and it is viciously attacked, shamed discarded, victim blamed, and called a sociopath, you're telling every other regular person in this world who's struggling that not only does your mental health not matter, but you're probably just making it up, just using it as an excuse to not do something, that it's your fault, that you're weak, insignificant, a snowflake, and unworthy. Like all this does is continue to perpetuate the very ongoing, relentless, negative stigmas attached to mental illness and mental health that have destroyed so, so, so many lives. More than half of people with mental illness don't receive help for their disorders. Often people avoid or delay seeking treatment due to concerns about being treated differently or fears of losing their jobs and livelihood. That's because stigma, prejudice, and discrimination against people with mental illness is still very much a problem. More than half of people struggling don't get help. Stigma often comes from lack of understanding or fear. Inaccurate or misleading media representations of mental illness contribute to both those factors. Please, 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 if you are living with any type of mental health challenges, please first know that it's okay. There is no shame whatsoever in what you are going through. Like, take it from me, as someone who has survived a lot of shit and lived with severe anxiety and depression and fibromyalgia like it's it's okay you're not being selfish if you want to focus on your mental health and if setting boundaries with what you will and won't do with your life will bring you some peace in your mental health then that is what you focus on and that's what I got Okay, we, we clearly need a kitten palette cleanser after all of that. Oh, what a good baby. You got a little note boogie? Little boogie woogie? Make sure to follow me on Instagram so I'm not lonely and comment on this photo with the clown emoji so I know you came from this video. You wanna do the shout outs? Couple of Twitter shout outs. First one goes to Katie's Movies who said, this video is a must watch for my fellow journalists because it gets into how some of us are talking to child talent. I know the people who follow me are the good ones, but we need to be better as an industry when it comes to talking and writing about underage talent. And to Graperil Lynn who said, I will never get over how important these docs are. They cut through the bullshit to get right to the heart of our 
up world. It is not your fault. I'm so happy to hear that you guys are finding value in these docs. That's why I make them and I hope that they're helping anyone out there. If you haven't seen my Millie Bobby Brown doc or my two-part Gabby Hanna series, I'll link all of that down below. And if you want to be in my next Twitter shout out, just follow me on Twitter at SpankyB and retweet this video right here. Do you have anything to say? Oh, those ears are back. Someone was like, listen, I didn't sign up for all this camera time. Don't worry, you can send me the bill. <laughs> Huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this doc. Make sure to go to HelloFresh.com and use code SWOOP14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. You'll love it. It's a game changer, I promise. Again, there is no shame in struggling mentally, like none. The very fact that you've even survived what you have is a testament to how incredible you are no matter how terrible you may feel you're still here and that means everything if you're down on yourself or if you're feeling trapped suffocating heavy dark isolated like you're choking under this weight that no one else sees just know that I see it I see you I'm here with you and you're valid take your time honor your feelings don't compare how you feel to anyone else's experience I promise I promise you will get through this eventually, just give it time. Don't let the trash opinions of the trolls be anything more than that. It's just trash. Take your mental health one hour at a time, one day at a time, because you're worth it. And if you don't believe me, then bitch, come over here so I can tell it to your face and slap some sense into you shit. <laughs> you know, y'all got this. Class dismissed. Swoop!